all about glowing. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to sit down today and talk about the top 5 highlighters that I absolutely love and think they are incredible and amazing. I love highlighters. I think I have an entire shelf full of various types of highlighters, powder, creams, stick highlighters, liquids. Um, I've been collecting a lot of different highlighters and I think eventually I probably want to go through a what's in my closet slash makeup collection highlighter haul. Uh, but before we come to that, there's going to be a lot to go through. I just wanted to do a top five of my favorites and show you what gets me glowing. So let's get started. My favorite highlighter and what I have on my face right now that's giving that huge blinging grill. Glare? Glare? Huge blinging glare is the The Balm Mary Lou Manizer and I think it's shining to the fact that video is flickering. Um, so this is the most gorgeous, just look at that. I have used it a lot of times and it's barely made a dent and it's just this finely milled highlighter powder and it just looks absolutely beautiful. I have it on my skin today, I am absolutely glowing and loving it. So I barely kind of just tapped swipe and this is what it looks like I'm trying really hard not to drop it. And this is what the highlighter looks like, it's just a really cool toned slight beige in their um, highlighter and I swipe it at the back of my hand. It is really really finely shimmer and just so pigmented. It's definitely a highlighter that you want if you want a real glow on and it is absolutely one of my favorites. I absolutely love the balm highlighters. They are beautiful. Next on the list I have something from Becca. Now Becca is well known for their highlighters um, and what is called their shimmering skin perfectors. So they started out with the liquid shimmering skin perfectors which are beautiful and they also have the powder and then they have the cream formula. So here I have the shimmering skin perfector poured creme illuminator in champagne pop and I absolutely just love this one. It is just so glimmering and glistening. Again, just look at that pearl in there. This one is a little bit lighter um, in terms of the intensity on the skin. So if I just swipe my finger in there, again, just barely anything. It's there on the middle finger. You can see that it's just a really lovely light highlighter. And if I put it onto the skin, it looks a bit like that. So it's got a little bit of a gold tone to it, much more than the Balm Mary Lou Manizer. And if I just tap that on to my skin, it looks really natural. For those of you who just prefer uh, a little kind of like lit from within glow, and if you prefer your cream formulation, this is a really good one to go for from the drugstore and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Light in Facing Illuminator and this is in the shade 100 Bare Light and again in the very same vein as all the other highlighters this is one is more of a natural beige uh, tone and it's a liquid highlighter so I love the packaging it's just really slim really nice probably not the best in terms of when you're trying to stack it in your collection but you basically just twist the top off and it comes with a little bit of nozzle and I'll need to just drip a little bit on the back of my hand and I really like this one it kind of reminds me of the Becca um, liquid skin perfectors and there it is right there and again it's sort of in the same kind of family as the others and what I really like is the fact that once you've blended it out, it looks so beautiful um, and just really glowy. There we go. It just looks really beautiful and glowy and again gives you that kind of like lit from within um, skin 
perfect skin look and it's just really beautiful i also love the feel, way it feels on the skin um it's got like a little bit of slip to it probably not the best if you have really really oily skin um it's probably not going to stay on there but if you're someone who has drier skin that might be something that would be really good on your skin so how many times can i say the word skin so that is one of the best liquid highlighters that I found and from the drugstore as well. I think it costs about $9 to $11 um, and it's really really nice. Away from all of the kind of skin tone beigey illuminators, I've got something from Illamasqua and this is the Beyond Powder in Epic and this is just in a beautiful kind of rose gold shade. And the powder itself just looks absolutely amazing in here. It's kind of, it just doesn't look like powder at all. Um, it almost looks like a sponge. It's so smooth. And if I rub my finger in there again, barely of a tap, it just looks absolutely amazing. It's here on my middle finger. See how fine the shimmer is. It's just really lovely. And on the back of my skin, you can see that it just looks like that. Time to go. There we go. On the back of my hand, it just looks so beautiful and it's just got that lovely little sheen to the skin and looks really natural, really lovely. <laughs> lovely. It looks really lovely on the skin and just beautiful beautiful formula um really like it and you get a ton of product in here i think it's like seven grams of highlighter so you're not about to run out anytime soon last but not least of course i have the estee lauder victoria beckham highlighter in modern mercury this is such a beautiful compact um i did a swatch review of it um, just a little while ago, so I'll link the video down below, but this is one of the most amazingly beautiful highlighters that I've ever seen, if I can only open the compact, there we go, and it is just a beautiful shade, look like that, a little bit of a rose gold in there, um, it's just absolutely beautiful, I hate putting my finger in there, but it, it's seriously a gorgeous highlighter. That's what it looks like and on the back of the hands you can see just that shimmer and that glow it's absolutely lovely okay actually my entire hand is glowing there we go so this actually uh, retails for I think 40 pounds it's probably my most expensive highlighter in my entire collection but the packaging of it is lovely the formula is lovely and it just looks really really amazing so that wraps up my top five highlighters and I love every single one of them I love using all of my other highlighters as well so if you're a bit of a highlighter fiend i would definitely recommend checking them out don't forget to comment down below what is your favorite highlighter to use and what sort of formula do you like do you like the liquid powder or cream formulation of highlighters and don't forget to thumbs up this video and uh, click like below and i'll see you next time so bye